Hey guys, so I just thought I'd do a quick video on farm plans around here. Osa, leave it. Oi. Um, we've decided to downsize on animals this year. So we will, at the end of the year, have two goats. We're going to be um, Roka, my red girl. I just, she's my favorite goat. She was our first goat, and I, I don't want to get rid of her. She's about uh, six or seven years old now. So I'm going to hold on to her, and we decided to keep Coco, her little pinto baby that we've had for about a year now. Osa! Leave him alone! And so we just need to sell little cinnamon pinto baby over here. Uh, she just barely got weaned, so she's ready to go to her new home. But it's just becoming a lot with the animals to do task-wise. My husband's been injured, which makes it difficult to run everything on my own. We have a three-year-old who is becoming more and more demanding. And because of the animals, we haven't been able to really travel like we want to and do all the fun things we want to do. So my intent with the goats is that they will travel with us on some level. I'm working on getting a flatbed and we'll build a little travel box for them, much lighter than a horse trailer. I haven't decided how far down we are downsizing as far as the rabbits and chickens go. I think with the rabbits, I might just go down to two breeding does instead of four. Because uh, once you get going with all the babies, that becomes a lot. But my daughter loves playing with the animals. So we'll probably continue to have a few. Uh, the chickens... We've also kind of given up on because it seems like we always have one problem over another with the, the chickens. The chickens, again, I, I feel like we'll hold on to a few. Um, I've more so been buying eggs from uh, our neighbor because uh, it seems like for one reason or another we always end up with egg eaters or they start laying eggs in the field or we just seem to have issues where that's concerned. We have four laying hens right now and that's not keeping up with our demand right now because we in the past haven't usually had used that many eggs but this year everybody seems to be eating them. My husband's been taking to them. My daughter's been having one or two a day depending on how many there is. I've been starting to try and use them more so uh, we don't necessarily want more birds but my daughter loves playing with the few birds that we have, so I'm probably going to hold on to some of the blue chicks that I've raised this year. I had hatched out some chicks from my speckled Sussex hens and my splash blue Americana. And so all of his chicks turned into these the blue ones you see. And it looks like we have at least three females in there. A couple of them I can tell are, are roost, but we I had one last year that she was laying kind of the blue greenish eggs. She got eaten by a fox this year, which is another dilemma with chickens is everything wants to eat them. Because I also got these 50 meat birds that are all roosters and we had a fox get into the coop. Because with 50 birds, once they start growing, it's too much for our coop. To handle even between the two because inside that other one it's kind of small but you get too many in here getting fussy so I had opened the door to their run here and a raccoon figured out how to get in there was a couple spots along here that they were digging but ultimately they had pulled this chicken wire away and we're able to slide in between here through the door and into the run and it was pretty much a massacre. We lost 34 out of uh, technically 60 birds. We ordered the 50 and then I had chicks that I had hatched at the same time that were also in there. So we'll probably hang on to at least five or so birds for eggs. 
I don't know why you guys are all in the run instead of outside and in the meadows. But anyway, after the season's over, we'll probably end up with uh, at least maybe six or seven hens at the end of it, and I'll probably just stick to that. Probably don't order too many chicks the next year. My daughter loves raising the chicks each year, so we might just go get a few Craigslist chicks or something instead of ordering a big batch. But that about does it for this video. I'm just looking forward to having the extra time on my hands and not having to clean as uh, the pens as much, uh, having more of my own personal time with my family, being able to travel a little bit more with the goats, being able to save money. I will still have uh, a few animals to enjoy and take care of. So thank you for joining me for this video and we'll see you next time.